farmers cultivating onions in the northern parts of Nigeria have been lamenting over the deterioration of their produce as suppliers refuse to ship to the southern parts of the country. According to reports, no less than 50 trucks had rotten away at their farms and markets. Some days ago, the Onion Producers and Marketers Association announced that it would be discontinuing the supply of onions to the entire south from Monday, citing insecurity and the government's failure to compensate its members who suffered losses in the past. Ali Uisa, the national president of the association, dissociated this when addressing journalists at a press briefing in Sokoto on Sunday. He says, if the government fails to adhere to the demands of the association, we are shutting down the supply of onions to the entire south by Monday, June 7, 2021. Mr. Issa was quoted by Daily Trust as saying, according to him, about 4.5 billion naira worth of onions and properties were destroyed by suspected hoodlums across southern states in the last few months in addition to the loss of lives of members of the association without any compensation. <laughs> okay, well, you know, these people have forgotten that uh, the goods they are talking about, they are perishable things. No, tell me now. The, uh, since they stopped the importation or whatever, the supplies of uh, onions to other states, I've never heard that uh, maybe people are not complaining that uh, this and this and this and that. It, in the recent, the people the, the people were not affected. The sites or the south that you wanted to take it to are not affected. They are not crying. Now you have your decision. If they will perish. Now, who is not losing? You are losing on both sides. I don't know the kind of thing these people think. The place you are taking all this is not as if you are going to starve them. It's not as if uh, you are going to give them for free. They are going to use their money to buy. If you don't even bring it, they will go to other places. They will look for another avenue to get it done. And meanwhile, all, uh, some other people have started producing onions. People will look for alternative. Even if it is all those food they are bringing. And that is the reason why they don't want farmers to progress. In the south, all this, the agenda, the wickedness and all of that, it's glaring. Nobody's going to be politically correct. Maybe when you're on, on national TV or you are whatever, where we sit down, those who still speak, speak the truth, speak truth to the power. Wickedness. We can, this, the wickedness is just who's in every way. Their wickedness is who's in everybody can, 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 can perceive it. Want to collect a 4.7 billion. The people that you are killing every day, they have, they have, have they, have they, have they gotten any uh, compensation? And uh, no, now who you they do? No, 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 seven I go do now. No, no, seven I go do. The people you think you think that you are trying to to punish, they don't, they don't, they didn't feel it at all. They are not even still feeling it because nobody is complaining, and you are losing every day. In northern states, truck load of drinks were destroyed without compensation to so the owners, whom are southeasterners. Governments were aware of this. Nothing happened. You stopped supply of your products to a certain region of the country and you're complaining. Insecurity is everywhere. Other tribes are who carry their products to north are also killed and government never compensated anyone. So I wonder what mumbu jumbu you are talking. Stupid reasoning. It's on your food that someone cannot do with us. I wonder how. Stop farming now and go into poverty. After all, your brothers in government encourage your Janjaweed killers to destroy southern Nigeria farms. The wicked shall suffer from its wickedness. We need life, not onion. Replace innocent life in oil. Who then lose? Eat your onion. If onions coming uh, southern will lead to killing of innocent people, please keep your onions. We don't want it. Hmm, you never see something. I just pity them. If they are refusal to bring onions and cows, we stop criminals' activities in the south. Please keep your cow and your onions to yourselves, okay? Don't cry, oh. Now, you guys will know we all need each other. Start eating your onions, send it to your IDPs and surrounding mosques. Hmm. The north are fo foolish and useless. Why is the north full of idiots? See, Una must chop those onions. Whether you not like her or not, you not know, say without the onion, the, without the salt, south, the north is useless, useless onions, my food. Because at the end of the day, they are making a whole hell of money. Take your goods to another place now. I don't know. Must it be only this in the south? Since you have a Niger Republic, you can go in there. Buari has given a free visa. 
I think they should be able to give you uh, that opportunity to enter their country. So go and sell it here. They are your brothers over there. Go and sell it over there. When I never see anything, when I go soon, they use onion, they drink tea. <laughs> the coordinators only wanted the losses of farmers to spread evenly. Remember how other farm products like pepper, tomatoes, and grapes rotted away during their first embargo. So this is the onion farmer's time too. Embrace it calmly. We survived that time. We will survive this scarcity too. Even though things are expensive, but we will manage to. The monumental losses will be yours. Chicken, huh? They will realize that the South makes them rich. They will soon turn to Amajiri and some bandits. They are unwise. It shock you. I <laughs> never feel like I be on your nagari. On your are being destroyed. You are shouting. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Your people uh many in other there are people many in other parts of the nation. No complaint well, should be made or no complaints were made. When I just start, nobody go beg una before Una go start to bring down the onion. Use this make suya and you also carry the onion and cook onion soup and cook stew and urishirishi. Without the south, the north are nothing. Didn't they know that onions is perishable in the first place? I tell I tell you, I don't understand them. Even the other one, the food supply or whatever they call themselves, those ones are even uh, raking now. They are threatening that uh, in three weeks' time, if the government fails to attend to them, that they will go on strike. Mm -hmm. Now today, uh, people are saying that uh, if that is what is going to make uh, the South to be peaceful, so be it. They will soon pay them from the federal federation accounts and call it COVID-19 palliatives. Trust the North, the owners of Nigeria. Black man mentality. Dangote truck is still moving cements everywhere despite his truck being burned down by hoodlums in both north and south. South is not quarreling with the north. They are still living together. It is only the government at the center that is dividing us. Let us unite to fight the evil days instead of quarreling among us. Eat your rotten onions very soon. You will eat your cow too. Let's see who is doing the order a favor. Use your aboki mashashi mashahi cow's brain for solution. Let's see. They are seeking for compensation from federal government. On your association are criminals and selfish. Farmers will lose heavily because of their greediness. Bring onions. So I like onions. I can't do without onions. Now you will all know that the adage that says, In my place, that hand wash hands, nahim make hand be clean. You people can't can't survive alone. You need the South. So stop threatening the South. Think from your head and not from the books. When you Northerners ban onions, the East and South will improve, improvise something in place of onions. And then this happens. No need of onions again. We well um well salt loses when salt loses its taste, it's nothing but to be tread under foods, rotting onions. What a pity. I feel so sorry. For the poor farmers because they are the ones whose onions are rotting away. Their leaders think they can always blackmail the south with food. Forgetting that at most the cost of food may go up in the south. But it's their own food stuff that will rotten away. They always fail to learn from experience.